Laura here, nice of you to join me and a very warm welcome to my channel. It's lovely to have you here with me today. This is going to be part one in the tutorial for the Graphic 45 album that I've shown recently. This is the album that I made for the Graphic 45 brand ambassador design team call for 2023 straight 24. Fingers crossed that I'm successful. But as promised, here is the tutorial on how I made this album. If you want to see the project share for this album, then please do um, click on that link up there and that will take you to the video where you can see me share uh, and go through the different pages and things in this album. So what I'm going to do this today is I will go through the cardstock measurements and give them all to you now and then we will cut the, pa the pattern paper as we then assemble the book. So let's get on with the measurements. So first of all we'll need your grey board to be cut out and you'll need two of your outside edges, sorry outside covers and they're going to measure six and a quarter by eight and a quarter again you need two of those and if you want to just mark on there front and back by all means do then we've got three which are going to be the same measurement so you'll need one which um, is going to be your blank one this is your spine and this is at two and a half by eight and three quarters and then you'll need to cut two of them out again but I've actually um, laser cut some magnet holes in my grey board so that I can put my magnets in for my closure uh, but you can do this by tracing round a magnet and then um, using a cropper, cropper dial or something similar to put it in place and then just seal it with some tape over the top so that's my grey board so going on now to our cardstock and I'm going to work with two piles so um, I'll tell you I'll have pile one and pile two and I'll tell you where to put each one because pile one is going to be the one where I will give we will do the score lines afterwards cut out these pieces as well these are going to be your pages so mark these as side A and side B size A's measurement you need to cut two of these and the measurements are five inches by eight and one quarter side B cut two and they are five inches by nine and one quarter on this piece you need to score at half an inch on both of the short sides so we have first of all we have a hinge mount and this is going to measure eight and a quarter by five and a half and that's going to go in your pile two because that doesn't need any score lines so then we're going to put hinge one and that is four inches by eight and a quarter that's in your pile one because that's going to have some score lines hinge two is three inches by eight and a quarter then you'll need some tags now I've just used a die to cut my tags out but if you haven't got a die then these need to measure three and three quarters by five and a half now they have to measure that because that's what I've uh, measured and allowed for the tag holder to be now if you've got a bigger die then by all means use the bigger die but then just resize your tag holder to fit that particular uh, die or you can just cut them out and use a corner rounding tool and that makes um, beautiful tags as well Next we have the tag holders, now you'll need to cut six of these 
and they're going to measure five and a half by eight and a quarter. They're going to go in your pile one because they need some score lines. Now we come on to the acetate and you'll need to cut these measurements three and five eighths by four and three quarters. You'll need one sheet of acetate that will cut into four. So now we come on to your notelet, sorry, your booklet. Now your, this booklet is for pages one and five. So you'll need two of those and they're going to measure three and a quarter by eight and a half. That's in pile one. Booklet one, which will be for page four and eight. And this is going to measure four and a half by eleven and a half. And you need to put that in, in pile one. Booklet two is five inches by ten inches. Next we have our waterfall flaps. If you want to be a bit frugal with your cardstock, cut it like this. So you will cut your six and a quarter inch measurement where you have the, the shortest measurement up against your measuring guide and your longest measurement along the top where you're going to trim it off. You need to measure your six and a quarter inch along there. Cut that off. Turn it round and then you can do the two four and a half measurements. So you'll get like two um, pieces out of your one cardstock. Because you'll need 19 of these cut out. And as I say, the measurements are going to be six and a quarter by four and a half. Okay, that's going to go onto my scoring pile. Then we have the two closures for the waterfall. So you've got a bottom closure and the top closure. So the bottom is two and a half by four and a half. And the top closure is six and a quarter by seven and a half. And that's on pile one. Next we have page two pockets. And these will measure eight and a quarter by three and a half you'll need two of those or you will need two of each of these as well I'm sorry of the closures so the pockets they haven't got any score lines so they just go on to pile two then we've got page two tags and these are three and a quarter sorry three and a, three inches by four and a quarter then we've got the pocket for the booklet and that measures one and a half by three and one eighth. You'll need two of those. And I, sorry, I didn't say you'll need four of the tags as well. Coming on to the page three and six, and you're going to cut out two pockets for the inside flap. And they're going to measure two inches by eight and a quarter. And then you'll need two of your pocket flaps and they're going to measure eight and a quarter by six and a half and you'll need two of those. So that goes onto my scoring line. Then we've got some long tags. So you need four of the long tags which measure three and a quarter by seven and a quarter and they these ones are long tags for pocket you'll need four of those and then long tags for the page you'll need only two of these and that's going to measure three and a quarter by seven and three quarters so they go on the non-scoring pile we're on to our base pages now you'll need to cut two each of these measurements so side A will be five inches by eight and one quarter and side B is five inches by nine and one quarter. These are for pages three and four and seven and eight. One side of this has scoring lines so they need to go onto our scoring line pile. Then we've got the belly band for page four and eight and this is going to measure two and a quarter sorry two inches by 
eight and a quarter and you need two of those then lastly we have the outside where we've got the spine and book closure and they are going to measure the same uh, amount uh, on both and so you'll need three of these at two and three eighths by eight and a half and mark them spine and book closure then lastly we have the front and back covers so two of these at six and five eighths by eight and a half and then they go on the non scoring side All my scored pieces are here so I'm just going to work from back to front as I've put them down we're going to score the base pages first now the side A doesn't need any scoring so just put those to one side just for a moment so side B they need a score line on both of the short edges of this piece of cardstock so you need to put your measurement um, your, the longest piece down the measuring guide line of your trimmer and just score that at a half an inch on either side and you need this, to do this with both of your pages both of your uh, sides one sorry side B like so now what's going to happen is is side A is going to slot into slide B now what may be the case is that it is just a little bit too proud so just to alleviate that we're just going to trim off about a, an eighth of an inch off of one side like so okay just about that much and then when we put that back into our page it's going to have a nice snug fit and it's not going to bow so we need to we'll put it together so we'll need to just put a line of double sided tape on one side of that glue tab and we're gluing uh, onto the valley fold side of your glue tab Okay, burnish that down really well and take that double sided tape off now I'm going to do one first and I'll put that round that way so that I don't need to worry about rubbing that pencil mark off I'm going to stand it up so that I can get it level at the top um, and the bottom then when you when you're happy just very hold the, your paper your page down and then just very gently ease this glue tab over like so okay we can take this side off now and whichever if you're left or right handed whichever I tend to go with my left hand here and just push all the air out of that pocket like so and then once you're happy just push that glue tab over like so and just ease it down and that way you will always get a slight bow in your page um, that's inevitable that's just what's going to happen but it is still nice and flat so it will lay flat once it's on your hinges so we have the pocket inside flap and the pocket flap so the pocket inside flap we're just going to put to the side because we don't need those at the moment but the pocket flap you'll need to score these both okay so score them both like this so we have the shortest edge along the measuring guide of your trimmer and we're going to score along the long edge at two inches so you're going to score that at two okay and then you can either turn it round 180 degrees and then score it at a half like so or you can just score it um, down from here and score it at not cut oh dear what have I done you need to score that at half so let me just grab another piece here so this is eight and a quarter by six and a half 
quite like. Okay, so shortish edge along the side of your trimmer. Right, I'm going to score at a, a half. And I'm going to turn it round. No, I'm not. I'm just going to move it down and then score the other edge at two. Like so. Okay. So you've got your glue tab. And then when you fold this over, you've got your pocket then for the outside of your flap. Okay. So you need to do that for both of your pocket flaps. Okay. Um, there is something else we need to do with that, but we'll as we come th to do it, we'll do that. We'll just do the, sc the scoring at the moment. So moving on to your bottom of the waterfall closure so this is the bottom of your waterfall closure so you would have had two of those you're going to score both of those um, at, along one short edge at a half an inch so you're going to score them both at half an inch okay so that's the bottom flap so then the top flap you're going to score this again at half an inch but that's also along the short uh, you're going to score along the short edge and that's also at half an inch okay like so and then what you need to do is burnish these down well once you've done them all so i'm just going to put these all together so that i know that this they are together and i haven't lost them so coming on to your waterfall flaps now all of these okay need to be scored at half an inch so we're going to score along the long edge at the half an inch as i said and that's along for all eight 19 of those okay so you're going to score them all so score and burnish all of those okay i'm just going to put them down because i'm not going to burnish those on camera so turning over now we've got our booklet two and that was the five inches by ten inches and you've got two of those and they need to be scored along the short edge so along that short edge with the longest measurement down your trimmer measurement guide you're going to score that at five inches to give me a half and um, to give me like your booklet so do that with both of those okay next we've got booklet one and that again is we're going to score along that short edge with the longest measurement down the side of your trimmer and that's going to be scored at five and three quarters okay so five and three quarters like so then moving on to your booklet that's for pages one and five again two of these and you're going to score these at four and a quarter so again along that short edge you're going to score but with the longest edge down your measurement guide and this is going to be scored at i think it was four and a quarter four and a quarter and you'll score that like so Okay, score both of those then the last score that we're going to do is for the tag holder so you're going to do this on all six so these are the score lines that you will need so I'll just put that there so we can see it so we want to score with the short edge along your measurement guide of your trimmer we need to score this at five eighths okay so score that at five eighths then turn it 90 degrees and we're going to score this at two and a quarter and then turn it 180 degrees and score it at two okay so we fold them over i will burnish them down a little later you will have probably about a quarter of an inch overlap which is good as which we want for the 
so we can stick it together. But before we do that, we're going to work from the back. Now, where the score line is, we're just going to mitre this corner, this glue tab corner, up to that point and do it the same with this side. Mitre that corner as well. So that's what you're sort of left with at the moment. So what we're going to do is I need to cut off this part here and this part here as well. But we're going to cut it this side of the, that scored line just over about an eighth of an inch sort of above it like so cut that off and it'll all become apparent in just a moment I'll just and do the same with the other side as well and cut that off there so you're left with something like that so when we fold it over you're left with that but I like to just corner round all the corners um, it just makes it look a little bit more neater than what it would do if you left them uh, with the sharp corner I also do the top corners as well and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second just do that last two there like so so it looks like that when you're sort of finished so fold them over now this glue tab at the bottom is just going to fold right over onto the top like so there we go you can just about see it um, let me put something dark a light behind there can you see that there it's just folded over the top and then we glue we put the glue along this edge now you can use glue or double sided tape it's entirely up to you I had some glue here so I just stuck myself with a pin so I'm going to just put my glue just along that edge there like so and then fold it over like that and then I'm going to glue this bottom tab as well over there we go and then that is your tag holder done. to start with we're only going to glue two of the tag holders together the other four need the frame cutting out of the central panel so that we can um, add the acetate to the back of that Okay, moving on to our hinges. So I'm going to start with hinge one first. So we're going to score this at half an inch segment. So we'll start with a half, one, one and a half. Then I'll turn it round and I'm going to do the other. So I'm going to do exactly the same there as the here. So a half one and one and a half like so so you've ended up looking like you've got this big piece in the middle and then three score lines either side now we're going to bend or fold these two score lines here and these two score lines here and these ones here are just as a guide for where we put the next one on so bringing in our um, hinge number two this one you're going to score again at half an inch um, segments so one a half and one turn it round and do a half and one again okay and then you've got this half this um, same gap as what we do with our hinge number one so that's all our scoring done so let me just get rid of that and bring in then the hinges 
so we're just going to fold these hinges over so I'm working on uh, hinge number two okay so all I've done is I folded the first two score lines on the outer edges so we folded them over I'm just going to burnish those like so and like so that's one then we do the same with hinge number two this time we need to fold we fold all of the score lines that's one and two I'm just, just going to burnish these down and we're going to fold these the opposite ways as well so that it um, really does get a nice crisp crease So then that's the hinges done. So we can stick the two hinges together. So can you remember when we did these two score lines here? Now these are going to be our guides for where your hinge number one is going to sit in place um, of. So let's grab some DS and I'm going to put it onto the back of hinge number one like so just burnish that down like so pull that off uh, she says there we go and I will add a bit of glue because then my glue is going to act as my wiggle room because we all need a little bit of a wiggle room there we go these in place so I'm just going to place it in between those two scored lines if it's not straight just wiggle that's what we've got the glue there for and the glue will also help it stay stuck for longer okay and then burnish that down when you're happy it's in place like so so that then is our hinges done so that's all our score lines so I'm going to go ahead and score all of my pieces now of um, that I've got left which is my tag holders and when I come back we will then put together the album okay so we have got our album made up now I will add the iCard up there for where I how I made this album up um, it just saves time on this video so if you want to head there and check out how I made this the album with the tape method then click on that before you watch any further so I'm going to turn it over now just to make what I sorry what I didn't do on that tutorial was um, strengthen the sides of the spine you don't have to do this all the time I just feel mine is just a little bit flimsy so I've just got some um, old book binding tape that I had in my stash it's like a fabric tape it's very very sticky and it works well just to strengthen your um, joins for your spine to your cover now the only thing with this is is you do need a very sharp pair of scissors and ones that aren't stickied so these ones are stickied and they won't cut my tape very well these ones are your titanium coated and although they do get um, stickified they they won't get as much as what non um, titanium blades will so I'm just going to move my bits out of the way because I've kind of got a little system going here so if I turn it around this way now what I'm going to do is just roll out enough tape now 
it's just going to go over this join half on half off again it doesn't matter how far you go either side just try and engage how much you what you need so I'm just going to unstick that bit now to cut this I need to give this a bit of tension and then cut down like so so I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to just bring this up and over my join there now don't worry because this is not going to be seen because you will cover it with your um, patterned paper the only thing I may do is just add a little bit here because what I, sh I could have done is put this on before I put my uh, mount board on but uh, I didn't want to um, just in case you don't always always need this so I'm just going to add that bit there and I'll cut that bit off because it is a bit too much like so and there we go just burnish that down like that now although they don't meet don't worry because as I say you will get your pattern paper can't find any always the way uh, you'll get your pattern paper and it will cover that so work on the next side finish that down really well do exactly the same thing this time I'm going to give it a little bit more just so that I don't end up with a join and I'll put that over there like that now this isn't going to be long enough to carry on there but I will show you a trick to help um, so that it's all going to match so I'm going to cut that off about there and bring that over right, pull that up taut so that it's nice and tight and bring this over like so and I'm going to cut this little bit off here just so that it doesn't overhang too much okay. now the top bits here all I'm going to do is with my bit here that's spare I'm just going to chop that in half and we're just going to push that over that there like so okay and do the same with this side there we are and you will never know that that is then a join so this is my inside and this now is my outside so when we've then got the spine mount um the spine cover on there as i say you won't see it it'll be near invisible and this is just called bookbinders fabric tape um, if you wanted to have a look at that so I'm just gonna very very gently just crease them creases again okay, like so and then that's really given me um, a more sturdier box just by adding those that bit of fabric on the side so back to our book so we've now got I keep saying so we've now got our hinges to put into place now with the hinges they are going to match where your spine mount is so now I've covered that up we just need to just put in those that guide again so the guide was a half an inch from the top and half an inch from the bottom like so so then you that's not half an inch that is half an inch there I did a uh, like so so half an inch half an inch 
and then we need to go I think it's a quarter of an inch either side oh, it could be half I think it's half an inch so half an inch either side of your join so remember to try and get it just put a little mark and a little mark here like so and then when we put this in it should and no it was a, a quarter of an inch so sorry about that so let's just change that and put a quarter of an inch it may even be three quarters that I did but uh, no it's quarter of an inch most definitely so with that done you need to just line everything up now I'm only going to put that one down there because you are not going to see it you can put another one up here if you want to but I think because I've got those two actually no let's do that don't do half a job tomorrow so do your quarter of an inch there and your quarter of an inch there And then put these in place like that now what we do with this is I'm going to put my double-sided tape along the underside um, in two places like so one Two, and then I'm going to put lots and lots of glue now this needs lots of glue because it's going to take a lot of battering whether you're turning your pages over etc uh, etc et and pulling it and pulling it and pushing it so it's, it needs to actually stay in place so I'm going to just take the backing off my double sided tape like so one to. and what I forgot to do was burnish that down but hopefully with the glue I'll burnish it on top of so make sure you've got lots of glue you can also put it over the double sided tape but just a little bit just so that you've got a bit of wiggle room as well and I'm going to fold them over Hold that over and then I'm going to push this into place so I've got a little bit of there we go so pull that down so I'm lining them up so that's there put it down a little bit more a little bit more there it's lined up that side lined up that side and lined up there so make sure you get this as straight as possible as I say this is going to be where your pages are going and you want to have straight pages as much as possible so once you've got it in place you can burnish down and that that's going to warm up that glue and that double-sided tape and help you get a better um, adhesion so again I'm just gonna just also make those creases a little bit stronger a little bit more crisper so that they then turn the pages a lot better okay so there we go so that is your hinge now in place So next what we can do is go on to our pages. Now I've labelled my pages and put them all in some sort of order. So I've gone through my instructions and I've kind of like put them all together so I've got so I know what elements go on what page. So for page one and five for instance I need the small tags the tag holders, the booklet po um, pocket, the booklet, the book, the pocket for the tags to adhere to. So that's th that one at the back. So 
I know that I've got everything I need to do this page. The only other thing I've forgotten that I've not put on there is you need one acetate panel. So, and then I've just gone along and done that with all of them so that they're all ready and raring to go. But what I tend to do is I do my front and back covers first and then I then go on and do my pages in between. So, bringing in the waterfall feature. So for the waterfall feature, you need all the waterfalls for your front and back cover, which is your 19, all scored and ready to go. You'll need your bottom waterfall closure, which is the small piece, and the top waterfall closer which is the big flap you'll also need one of your tags uh, or sorry two of your tags you'll need two of your pockets um, your tag holders and you will then need the remaining two acetate pieces because that's what we need for this Oh no, I know I've done something wrong. Okay, I've just actually found out I've done an absolutely corker of a mistake. I was very happily going along and putting all my tag holders together, forgetting that I actually need to cut a window frame out of four of my tag holders so we are going to be uh, doing that now so what I forgot to mention was to do the to leave four of your tag holders not glued together because what we need to do is add our frames and we can't do, we can't cut the frames when we've glued it all together. So we need to then put the measurements in. So we need to measure, we're going to put our frames in this part here. So this is the front of our tag book. But I'm going to turn it over and work on the back side of the tag holder because then I can close that up and it's going to hide my pencil marks so this is going to be cut sorry um, measured at half an inch now I'm just going to put my pencil through my gully of my trimmer and I'm just putting my pencil lines there and there you can you see I don't need to put it all the way across but I'm just going to put it there and there because what I'm after is the two intersecting lines and I will show you that in just a tick when I get my tag sized right so I'm going to just put my line just over that tag that uh, intersecting line so you can you see it makes like a, a right angle that's what I'm after because when I come to cut I know that this here is my stopping point and not to go any further. So I need to do the same on going all the way round with our tag. I'll just put that under there like so. Just add that there. So come along, come along. Then you come up to this one, down and down. So you can see there I've got my intersecting lines there, there and there. So it's like a four, it's like a frame within itself. So I'm opening it all out because I don't want to cut into the back side of the, of the photo, of the tag holder. And I've opened up my glue tab as well. So all I'm now going to do is just position those penciled line so that they are roughly in the centre of my gully of my trimmer. Bring your, your blade up and my blade has got like a centering mark 
on the edge of the blade so I know that that's where my blade is going to be so I'm just going to push that down push my blade into it bite into the card and then cut all the way across till you get to your next pencil line like so you probably won't be able to you can see it just a little bit so bring that round again and do exactly the same all the way around so pencil line down come along and go across and then that cuts that bit of frame out and the last bit come along like so and then that's your frame cut out now I have noticed that my blade is getting a little blunt so hopefully somewhere in my little box of tricks here which I don't think it is I may have to get this big one I was hoping I had a nail file in there but I haven't so I'm just going to just there we go just sand off those extra little fluffy bits so that you've got a nice straight you, it, you've got no fluffy bits on there so turn that over and then that is your frame done so bringing in your acetate pieces and we're going to put them uh, it can, they're going to go on like so now at the top here it may just slightly come over that rounded corner so just to stop that I'm just going to round those top corners there so that it uh, sits in there nicely so taking your double sided tape now this is three um, not three this is um, a quarter inch tape and I'm going to put my tape as near to this edge of my acetate as I can you don't want to come over that edge because you don't want your tag to get stuck uh, or snag on the tape as you put it in, in and out so there we are just bring it round and the last bit there now I'm just going to burnish that down so I'm just going to use my fingers just coming along like so off off and off and off then we can grab our frame and just position it so that your tape isn't showing through the window like so and then burnish that down when you're happy okay uh, I'll just use my tool just to take out all them air bubbles and then, like so. then you can go ahead and glue your pocket together okay so do that with all three oh all, all, yeah well all four because I've just done that with that one so let's just glue this together so that you can see so I glue I glue the shortest one onto the um, longest flap bit so I'm just going to put that glue on that long flap and then push that over and that should hopefully not squidge out and go to the back there push that down as well there we go and then that is your pocket with your acetate frame done ready for you to then put your tags into so I'm going to go and redo all my tags and I will see you in a moment when 
normal, service will resume. We're going to score the base pages first. Now, the side A doesn't need any scoring, so just put those to one side just for a moment. So side B, they need a score line on both of the short edges of this piece of cardstock. So you need to put your measurement, um, your the longest piece down the measuring guide line of your trimmer and just score that at a half an inch on either side. And you need to do this with both of your pages, both of your uh, sides one, sorry, side B, like so. Now what's going to happen is, is side A is going to slot into slide B. Now what may be the case is that it is just a little bit too proud. So just to alleviate that, we're just going to trim off about a, an eighth of an inch off of one side, like so, okay? Just about that much. And then when we put that back into our page, it's going to have a nice snug fit and it's not going to bow. So we need to, we'll put it together. So we'll need to just put a line of double-sided tape on one side of that glue tab and we're gluing uh, onto the valley fold side of your glue tab. Okay, burnish that down really well and take that double sided tape off. Now I'm going to do one first and I'll put that round that way so that I don't need to worry about rubbing that pencil mark off. I'm going to stand it up so that I can get it level at the top um, and the bottom. Then when, you've, when you're happy just very hold the, your paper your page down and then just very gently ease this glue tab over like so okay we can take this side off now and whichever if you're left or right handed whichever i tend to go with my left hand here and just push all the air out of that pocket like so and then once you're happy just push that glue tab over like so and just ease it down and that way you will always get a slight bow in your page um, that's inevitable that's just what's going to happen but it is still nice and flat so it will lay flat once it's on your hinges I'm going to leave it here for this video I really really hope you've enjoyed it and you will go away and cut out all your pieces ready for part two don't forget there is a PDF cutting guide that I will link in the description box down below but there is a QR code at the beginning of the video which you can scan with any mobile device. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. It really does help my channel grow and I really really do appreciate everybody that does that. Come and follow me on all the social medias, as always, links will be in the description box down below for you to just click on. So, all that's left for me to say is wherever you are and whatever you're doing today, please have the most amazing day and I will see you again on the next one. Bye!